Hello everyone, welcome to another Book Review Wednesday and today I thought it would be interesting to dive into something that is a little bit more associated with the holidays. Uh, since last time I discussed something that was more based within fantasy. And uh, as you can see by the title, that book, or technically I guess you could say short story or even poem since a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the rhymes, at least every two lines of the of uh, the story rhymes. So, as you can probably tell already by looking at the title, that is "How the Grinch Stole Christmas" by Dr. Seuss. Now, I think for some reason we like to talk about the adaptations um, more than we talk about the actual book. Um, or really short story, call it a book. Uh, but uh, it's definitely one that I think has uh, stood out over the years and um, sort of reflects onto something that I think is very uh, true and sort of relevant to sort of this holiday season, uh, despite it being fairly brief, um, which is kind of my only criticism is, is that it's not a really in-depth story. Um, as opposed to some other adaptations like the Jim Carrey one that go a little bit more into making a story out of the film, uh, out of the story, out of the book. But again, I totally understand that the Jim Carrey one is, is not of the highest quality, um, especially when comparing it to the source material. Um, but basically, um, in case any of you are unaware, um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is about the Grinch, and the Grinch is basically a sort of, um, I guess you could call him a monster or something, that, uh, just a green guy that lives by himself and, uh, doesn't like the Who's down in Whoville who celebrate Christmas. Um, and, uh, doesn't explain why, and even the poem, even the book, uh, says, don't ask why, but st still at the same time goes on to providing guesses like, perhaps his head wasn't screwed on to right, uh, screwed on just right, or, you know, it, it, it's almost funny in, uh, how Dr. Seuss sort of plays with the words, and I think that's what really stands out about this, um, book in particular, is how, um, Dr. Seuss words things, and I think he has a way with words, um, and this is clearly a perfect example. Um, and I find it interesting, too, that usually uh, holiday classics in particular revolve around people who don't like Christmas. For example, The Christmas Carol and then How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I'm wondering if Dr. Seuss ever took some inspiration from, um, Charles Dickinson's work. I'm sure that's a plausibility. Um, but again, I think the, uh, and I think sort of the message is sort of to uh, dive into some similarity, uh, which I'll go over uh, fairly briefly. But basically, um, as a result of the Grinch not liking Christmas, he decides to steal it. And uh, ultimately, uh, once he steals it, he realizes what the true meaning is. And that's sort of where we get the message of the of the story. And uh, really, the message of the story is obviously anti-materialism and sort of, you know, huge amounts of, of wealth, um, which was something that I think was highlighted within A Christmas Carol. Um, and uh, it's also sort of preaching the idea of... Um, how no matter what you uh, try to surround Christmas with, um, it's really what comes from within you that ultimately it, that ultimately makes Christmas what Christmas is. Um, and again, I think that's sort of reflected too uh, in the Christmas Carol um, and by the the good deeds that you do. But I think within the Christmas Carol, it's more the good deeds that you do on to others, whereas. Um, Dr. Seuss, I think, tries to reflect it on a more personal level because you do see how the Grinch is really impacted by um, the sort of message that ultimately ends up being sent. And again, I guess you could say Scrooge, too, is fairly impacted as well. But as a result, he's uh, 
he's a more giving person, and the Grinch is sort of giving too, in a sense, but uh, at the same time, it's not so much about giving as it is about realizing what ultimately lies behind, um, you know, the fancy lights and the presents. So I think that's really what uh, Dr. Seuss was trying to go with uh, with this story, and I think that's why it's remained so relevant and powerful over the years. Um, and the interesting thing, too, is, is, is that the adaptations actually follow the story fairly well, and I think they actually quote, or I mean, I think even the animated version literally quotes all of the lines from the story. Uh, so, and even the Jim Carrey one quotes a couple, too. So, again, you do feel like that uh, even despite the adaptation, sort of the message reigns true. Um, but I think ultimately it's Dr. Seuss's idea uh, that sort of made this uh, Christmas sort of classic a reality and something that we uh, continue to enjoy, I think, over the years. And I think it's just um, a story that's sort of overlooked um, by the adaptations. And um, and uh, we, we forget that there's actually a, a story behind it. Um, and uh, I think that's really ultimately the real... Um, the, the real importance of Dr. Seuss's sort of um, work is trying to relay important messages to um, children and hopefully in doing so to adults as well. Um, and uh, again, I think even though it's, it, again, I think I harp on it a little for just being a little bit too simplistic. And um, at the same time, um, I feel like it's not as a powerful story is something like A Christmas Carol, and I don't think it's as, um, as in-depth, in um, at times. It still provides you a sense of, um, what, uh, what ultimately sort of the, the holidays should truly be about. And, uh, I think it's worthy of a recommendation and of a read to, children. Um, I think adults can read it fine, but at the same time, I don't think they would want to read it by themselves. I think uh, it, this um, story in particular, I think, suits more for children and is more of a, and is less, um, again, really dark or sinister, like something like A Christmas Carol that has a lot of dark elements within it. But I think it's definitely something that is worth um, considering for this time of year, and, um, and I think it really shows you, um, what the true meaning is, and, uh, and I think that's kind of been overshadowed over the years, even though it's so simple to understand. Still, some people probably don't, don't really get it, and, uh, maybe reading the story will open their eyes, I don't know, but, uh, it's, it's a story that I think, um, uh, has stayed true to the Christmas spirit and to the holidays and to this time of year. And I think it's one that's really a, a, a classic when it comes to, uh, holiday stories and books. So if you're interested, I'd say definitely pick it up. I think even one with, you know, pictures for kids would be, uh, a great way to, um, uh, to, uh, get them interested in the story, um, and, uh, I think, uh, Seuss's words, I think, are very, uh, well-versed and, uh, are good choices, um, that I think, uh, adults would appreciate in regards to writing, even though the story, again, is fairly simplistic and straightforward. Uh, but ultimately, I think that's really all I can say. If there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.